So this video is for Master Collingwood, or however your name is pronounced, you know, I pronounced them often wrong. Uh, how to you get your engine to work, and in with different plugs and stuff, so, um, to fit your zero turn, uh, I'll show you here with the diagram how everything works. So first off, it may be much easier to explain how everything works. So, you have your stator produces AC current down the DC current to charge up the battery and well that's the uh, regulator rectifier that switches it over to the DC current anyways but uh, we're gonna start by where the battery is here battery has a positive current you see that big heavy cable and actually that doesn't that actually connects all the way up to the uh, solenoid which is a little device that's right behind a motor usually anyhow so that device is actually a switch it's electronic switch you actually have also positive current splicing off from that heavy current over onto the on and off switch your battery is ground it always connects to the frame nowhere else or the motor but uh... it connects to this and the solenoid has ground wire on there and that just activates a switch and when that when you turn the key it activates it activates the positive and when the positive comes with the negative it turns on that electric magnet and hits the switch which hits the starter which the starter is also connected to the ground so it only has one terminal which you may know if you ever were confused by why it only has one terminal well that's why it only has one terminal and then the other is negative. These are your headlights here. And um, this is another thing with the short wire here. That is uh, this this wire right here. This is actually connects to your magneto, which is underneath the shroud of the engine. And what it does is when the engine's running, there's negative current here. And it combines that negative current and it puts on positive current which is going to create a short and when you can create a short you're not going to be able to generate any electricity past that short meaning you will not get any spark which if you don't get any spark it kills the engine shuts the engine off and this is without the engine as you can see this is probably where you're dealing around right now so these are probably the two wires that you're dealing most with and I'll show you right here on this engine and then I'll take you guys out to uh, my zero turn and I'll show you. So these are the two wires. These come out from the stator here. And those are those two wires that I'm pointing to. There's a stator underneath here. And those two, there's positive and negative. And of course, it doesn't really connect to ground. Uh, but I'll have to explain a little more just to get you really going into that. So here we go. I'm going to show you. This is a Kohler Courage 17 motor. 525 uh, no 535 uh, CC motor 17 horse um, as you can see here you have the uh, wires going to the solenoid and stuff like I showed you now generally on some of the older solenoids this is usually ground um, one of these just actually eventually connects to ground uh, but this probably goes up to the key ignition, so it's just a new, it's a newer system, so there's a lot more stuff to them and stuff, you know, how those newer systems are. But this is one of your wires here that's going through there. That's that wire that, right there. That's the wire, right there. That wire. That goes, that comes from the key switch and it, it activates the solenoid. And there's your heavy wire that's marked heavy. That's coming in right there. Goes through the solenoid. And as you can see, it's going right through that solenoid. Goes to the starter. And since everything's ground, which the ground wire on this motor is back there, it turns over the motor. So now let's get to this. These are the wire plugs that um, you may be struggling with. These here. These wires here are the wires coming out to the uh, regulator rec uh, not the regulator uh, the stator. They plug into the regulator rectifier, which is right there. 
let me get the glare up here and after coming out of the regulator rectifier they go into here and these are the charging unit wires here so these two wires here positive and negative that actually charge the system or however it's wired up here like I said it's newer model it's a little more difficult and these wires here the one wire is actually to the uh, electronic choke system or it's actually an electronic needle system uh, it controls as the engine revs up and stuff and slows down it controls the needle however it works or something uh, so they run a little more smoother with those on there um, anyways so, uh, so this one wire here so this red one actually is the uh, that needle valve thing and the white one's actually a ground wire that uh that actually goes to the coil uh not a ground wire a short wire that actually goes to the uh magneto and when you turn the key off it's actually act also activating a switch which uh spark to stop so that wire is going up to the spark plug there so um basically to actually know which wires are which and stuff, you will actually have to probably hook the starter wire up and you will have to uh, run them basically and test where you're getting current and stuff and how much of it and stuff. And I could put in some of what a, some of the quali like qualities, what current amount and stuff you should be getting from the, uh, the um, stator and the coming out of the regulator rectifier and stuff. Uh, and of course you have fuses and switches. I did not include these on the diagram. This is probably more of one of the older diagrams on some of the older tractors. But there is also switches that connect to various places such as on and off. And may also trigger that short. So you may not need to worry about this. You know, even I struggle with those big time. So, and they're just nothing but headaches. So your DC current is actually your stated the current from your stator is probably where you're looking at the plugs are different and stuff just need to figure out which they are cut the wires off and re-put them change the plugs around from what's your old motor or something and you should be get to, good to go after you're done figuring that out here's just an easy way to just hook up a voltage tester to the battery without it running and start it up uh, in this test, you should be getting around 12 volts. Start it back up and just put it on full and uh, then put it on and you should be reading around 15 volts, which is normal. So that way you know that your battery's charging. And if as long as it's turning off and it's starting back up, you're in the clear. So that's just an easy tip just to know that your uh, wires are working. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.